weekdays. Steel ship with SNB, a new trajectory to broadcast journalism. Join us. Hello, good afternoon everyone, and thank you for joining us on the program Stewardship with SNB from the studios of Irish TV in Portacot. We are about uh, five, six minutes late. Uh, please bear with us. It was due to circumstances beyond our control. But we're here. We're not too late. Uh, we're here for you because we're there for us. Well, um, it was about this time uh, last year when the political crisis in River State first broke out. And since then, River State has not known peace. This is one year, exactly October. River State has not known peace. The governor himself has not also known peace. The ordinary reversal has not known peace. Just yesterday, after the swearing of the 23 local government uh, chairman who were, who were newly elected, you know, the secretaries went up in flames so. by who? Yeah, some of the secretaries went up in flames by who we do not know. But the question we are asking in this studio, how concerned is the presidency to find a lasting solution to this problem? What about other well-meaning Nigerians and reverse people? What are this, the, road, the inroad to solutions to this uh, lingering problem? It remains unabated. This is our concern today on the program. Still watching with SMB. My name is Solomon Nelson Braid. Don't forget this program is all over the world via our social media handles such as YouTube and Facebook at RSTV Online. We are also on Go TV channel 142 and Star Times channel 113. Our telephone lines will be displayed on your TV set as we uh, get started with the conversation. For now, we're just going to a short break and we'll return it back to the live studio where I'll tell you who my guest is at the studio. Stay with us. Monkeypox or Mpox is an infectious disease caused by the monkeypox virus. It can cause a painful rash, enlarged lymph nodes, fever, headache, muscle ache, back pain, and low energy. Mpox spreads from an infected person to an uninfected person through skin-to-skin -skin contact, kissing, sex, and contact with body fluids, including saliva. Monkeypox can also be transmitted by sharing sharp objects and also from a mother to a child during pregnancies and childbirth. It can also be transmitted by sharing tools with an infected person. Monkeypox can also be transmitted from an infected animal to humans. Contracting monkeypox during pregnancy can be dangerous to the fetus or unborn infant and can lead to pregnancy loss, stillbirth, death of the newborn, and complications for the mother. Now, common symptoms of mpox are rashes, fever, sore throat, headache, muscle ache, back pain, low energy, and swollen limbs. Children, people with low immune system, Men having sex with men and with multiple sex partners, including close family friends that are infected. Remember, monkeypox has no cure, but is preventable. So if you or any member of your household observes any of the symptoms mentioned above, please go to the nearest hospital. This message is from the River State Minister of Health. Stewardship with SNB. It's probing. You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it all about? Beckoning on you occupying that public office to give account of your stewardship. Stewardship with SNB, and we're discussing reverse politics today. Of course, uh, the post election tension is raging. And of course, uh, everybody's uh, concerned as to what is the way out of uh, this uh, quagmire. Joining me in the live studio is a former member of the House of Representatives who represented Degaba Body Constituency. And of course, a, a former Executive Director, Marine and Operations, Nigerian Post Authority, and a, a strong member of the APC in River State, Dr. Sokonte Davis. Dr. Davis, welcome to our program. Thank you very much. This isn't your first time, and each time you come, you foretell what will happen in the future. Uh, I remember the last time you were here, you said, with or without the police, elections will go on. And indeed, it turned out to be, you know, your, your way. I was telling you off camera that it does appear that you're clairvoyant. I'm not. <laughs> so how did you think close to that? 
I know. Elections that. held without the police. Yeah, you also told you that these elections in River State, whenever it holds, will show Nigerians that we don't need the police to conduct a free and fair, peaceful election. Mm. And it played out. You know, I have been involved in politics for quite a long while. And um, the, my experience tells me that this is what's going to happen. I know some of the issues. Mm. You know, the police have made themselves a factor in the election. Mm. In all the elections we have held, they have made themselves a factor. You know, mm. and so the moment I saw the trend and the when I, I we saw the body language of the IG, nobody told me even before the so-called court, court pronouncement. There was no hidden on the bed. Of no, there was no, there was, there was no hidden. And it was mm. very plain that the IG has taken sides, and very likely. He will play the card he played, um, relied, and there was no judgment. Was there was already a court judgment in River State that had given the River State Independent Electoral Commission a, a clean um, a bill to conduct the election. Mm. Now the IG will rely on a judgment, a so called judgment of a court of coordinate jurisdiction of equal status. Mm. And in law, the first law is the law that exists unless a superior law mm. counters it, mm. which would have been the court of appeal judgment. Mm. So in, in fact he himself decided he did what we call a cherry picked mm. and he chose the one that uh, in fact I would say I don't care. I would say that he is part of the people that went to court to say and uh, obtain that judgment so that mm. you use that as a yardstick to do what he did on, on Saturday. Mm. But incidentally, he showed Nigerians that he is not necessary, not important mm. in the conduct of free and fair election, election. turnout of election, turnout, voter turnout. Mm. So his action just um, gave people confidence that, oh, the police are not involved, so we can come for this election. Mm. You have been a National Assembly member. Would you suggest that uh, INEC can also use this model by not involving the police? Yeah. You know, elections. Well, I think I've seen it. It appears it's more peaceful without the police. Exactly. I think I've seen it. It's an, 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 an next um, um, decision who to invite or not. Indeed, the law says the police work is to uh, maintain peace and order. But the law says that it is the electoral commission, the electoral body, that should invite them mm. to participate. Okay. okay you that's know? the position of the Yeah, so it's, it's INEC's um, um, decision. To see, to use this as a model to see that this is what um, is necessary. That the police actually is not really necessary for a free and fair election. And indeed, in other countries, where do you see mm. police people uh, strutting the place and manning electoral positions to for them to conduct free and fair election? Oh. It's in Nigeria that I see that mostly, and it's in Nigeria that the elections are less credible. So we can see that one we have identified at least as a nation have identified one of the factors militating against free and fair election mm. that is participation of the police okay all right uh don't forget yesterday the governor granted an interview to our sister tv station channels tv and he, he made his mind clear that he was not very comfortable that in all the crisis that is rocking river state the presidential press release that was made public by onanuga the president spokesman mentioned his name without other parties mm. other few parties which is very worrisome, and this has also drawn our attention. Take a listen to the governor. And everyone should allow the court to be able to adjudicate in this matter, and, uh, you know, every, calm should remain, and the IG should restore uh, the order in the state. What are your reactions to the president's intervention? I do not have any issue with it. But I'm a bit concerned when my name was only mentioned. But like I said, since it's coming from the president, I have no comment about it. But you, you see, this issue is a very straightforward issue. It's as simple as an ABC. Everyone in Nigeria, everyone in River State knows where this issue is coming from. It is not, it's not, it's not, it's not rocket science. We know what the issue is. And the issue is not Fubara. It's not. Um, if, if I may well, ask I you a direct I, question, well, 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 if well, there is well, well, Governor Fubara, I if, believe, if well, there well, is I, one thing, I want to say, I want to say the shego, shego. All right. I believe strongly that with the recent intervention of the Inspector General of Police, maybe we we'll have a release peace because 
maybe a result of him pulling out, pulling his men out of those secretariats might be one of the reasons why they had to take advantage of it. But I will appeal that while the, 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 the officers are there, the elected officers will also have the opportunity to do their work and he didn't let them provide security for them, which was even what I was thinking of. I was never of the opinion that the, the Nigerian police should pull out completely. No, 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 no. But when they said they were moving out, it was what gave opportunity for these miscreants to yeah. take advantage of, of uh, the secretary uh, to destroy them. I know, I understand that. So I want, I, I, I'm of the support that he should come back, support the elected officers to secure those councils because they belong is a, pro, a, a public property. We all need to join hands together to protect them. So I, I'd like to ask you a, a straight and direct question. If there is one thing that could allow for peace, perhaps a permanent one, and it's for you to give, are you willing to give, Governor Fubara, for the sake of peace? I can put names here. I can quote names, but for some reason, let me leave it. There is nothing I've not done on this act for peace to win. I can tell you the truth. I can tell you the number of times that I've kneeled down to bed that let's allow this issue to go. But, you know, I feel, <laughs> like I said, I, I, I don't even want them to talk about this thing. I have done everything. And if, even as of today, if there's anything that I can do, or there is any way we can get to a point of making peace, I assure you, I'm willing to do it. Because peace is important to me. What is important to me is let river states be normal. With all the problems we're having, the wonderful job I'm doing in this state, I'm not seeing because of the crisis. It's only when I come out and tell people that I'm doing this or the other day, you mean this is, what, this is what is going on in the state? Because the whole thing everybody is hearing is one crisis or another. If it's not from some set of uh, members of uh, this, it's some group of people. If not from this group, it's from one arm, one, 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 one uh, uh, security agency. You know, it's, 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 in fact, let me even tell you, there is a report I just got now that with what is happening, that some persons have already been penciled down for arrest because they are close to me. I might not be surprised by tomorrow when you when you hear their names, I'll be declared wanted. I can tell you. So, so go Governor. It's as bad as that. Yeah. So no. Well, that was Governor Fubra on Channels TV yesterday when he granted an interview to uh, that sister television station. But back to my guest here. Let's take a look, a look critical look at uh, the governor's uh, uh, responses to the questions posed to him. I want to ask you, Dr. Davies, don't you think uh, the presidency is prejudiced to have mentioned only the name of the governor uh, while calling for calm in River State? Well, um, really, I take it from um, two points, two angles. Um, if the uh, the president, the president mentioned only the governor, mm. my take generally personally is that the president has assessed the situation and has assessed that the other party is so is a bedusome interloper mm. and is graded among the miscreants and you don't mention miscreants' names when you are discussing issues. So the Minister of Health. That, that's your interpretation. Yes. My interpretation is that the president looked at the problem some the, the, the Minister of um, uh, the Federal Capital Territory is among the miscreants. And when they are talking about miscreants, they don't mention their name. When they are talking about thugs, they don't mention their name. Thugs, okay. miscreants. So it was proper for the president. So, so it was proper for the president not to mention his name because his name, mention his name does not require um, it was not necessary to, re to be mentioned. It was not necessary to be mentioned. Mm. The governor is known. The governor is the chief security officer, and it is his state. And he's not calling on the governor as he's not equating the governor with the miscreants. And you can see what the governor said. I've gone to say further that there is nothing humanly possible that he has not done 
to maintain peace and he could co quote names that time he said that he cannot be loyal with his kidney and his liver mm. so you can see the extent to which he has gone so i want to believe that the president that is his thinking but if that is not the president's thinking then it's unfortunate that in a situation like that the president could not mention the other person who thinks that is, is a problem, mm -hmm. which is his appointee. You have said and that he belongs to the, the group of miscreants. Miscreants. So I, 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 I would, if I were the governor, I would not be worried that only my name was mentioned. That's the only name that is recognized that should be mentioned. Others are miscreants and thugs. And the Minister of SCT has displayed himself to be like that. So there's no need mentioning his name. Nigerians know who he is. At least, <clears throat> is that miscreant? And he should continue to play his role of miscreants. You know? So that is it. So I think the president is appealing to the governor to try to see to contain them and try to uh, 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 not allow the miscreants to carry out what they need to do. But on the other uh, note too, since the president has seen that the miscreant is appointed, mm -hmm. then he should do the necessary action. Otherwise, as the gov uh, governor has said, I now want to side with the governor on that uh, mm -hmm. part of it. That otherwise, they look as if governor the president has taken sides. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's the governor that is the problem, which is not. The first people know that the problem is not the governor. Unless the president is not properly informed. And if the president is not properly informed, then he should also question the security advisors and those who give him security reports. It means that they're also not properly reporting to the president on the true situation mm -hmm. of River State. And River State will come to the, Somebody was talking to me the other day, I was in Abuja two weeks ago, last week actually. Somebody was talking, I told the person, I said, leave what big men like us say on the pages of newspaper and on television stations and radio stations. Come to Port Harcourt, come to River State and talk to the people on the, uh, uh, on the streets. Go to the market and go to the buses and places that talk to the general people. Then you'll understand the true position of things. So of us have access now, I have access to be here. I have the opportunity to say whatever I want to say. But market too, unless mm. your, your reporters go and ask her, mm. the boss, are, unless your reporters go and ask him, they will not be able to know the opinions. I say, go do and do such so. Before I, I say things, I make sure I'm a grassroots person. I, I, I live in the streets and I hear what the streets say. And that's why I can boldly say what I'm saying. So the president should, is busy, his security advisors, his security aides are not properly informing him of the true situation of, of things in River State. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if he has taken sides with the uh, with appointee, it's really unfortunate. And he's a politician. He, to, he, he, uh, he might seek for another election. The other hand, we are talking about 2027. Well, <laughs> people like to take it with a laugh. There is no political appointee, well, elected person, who does not think of the next election, even if he does not show it. But it's, it is always at the back of his mind. If it is at the back of his mind, whether he's going to run or not, at least you have people you support. You have the party you belong to. You want them to succeed. I tell you, with this uh, leg we are saying, as we say in our balance, it will not be well for your mm. instance. Okay, uh, Bayo Nanuka is a presidential spokesman who released that press uh, statement uh, calling on the governor and without mentioning other, other names who are parties to the crisis of the state. Now, many of the opinion that this press release is a gimmick to give Mr. President a valid excuse to declare a state of emergency in the state. What do you think? No, you see, the, the press statement cannot give the president the, 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 the leeway. This press statement is the president's statement. The president cannot mm -hmm. deny it. If the president didn't make that statement, then he should immediately send a, 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 a refuter. Because Brian Anuka is not the only person that speaks for the president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brian Anuka does have a word of his own. Whatever Brian Anuka says is what the president says. It's not Brian Anuka's mm -hmm. word. Meanwhile, we are already aware. In fact, <clears throat> some of us were a little bit, um, I think they became a little bit impatient because they saw the reception of River Staple, the response of River Staple to the elections on Saturday and the swearing on Sunday mm -hmm. and people moving to work on, on Monday. So it's like they're a little bit worried and so that they have to fast forward the action by one, by one week. Otherwise, we have expected this action, we expected this action on the 15th of this month. We are aware that plans have been made to try to make the state ungovernable from the 15th of this month. Oh, really? Yes. We are aware of that. And the president knows. The security agencies know. I'm a security person, but I know. And people that gave me this brief, I was security agencies. Oh, really? So if I, I know... ask you a source. Yes, yeah, if, if I know, as another, another citizen, why wouldn't they know? Why would the president know? Is he not in control? If he's not in control, he should let us know that he's not in control. If by an article statement is not by an article statement, the president has the right to call it and say, who asked you to make that statement? 
So these are the things, and I don't assume that the president, but Nanuga has, it's nobody who knows that Nanuga. It's somebody appointed by the president by somewhere to come and make, it's only a voice. To, the president cannot be talking to Nigerians every day. So he, he takes brief from the president, he makes it as a statement, the president approves it and he goes to say it. Mm. So that's the president's uh, statement. They were aware that plans have been in place mm. from the 15th of this month. Mm. And I think because they are aware that we are aware, that's why they try to do it on Monday. And I, mm. the police, they are complicit. I can tell you, in security issues, mm. we, want, we, call, we have what we call complicit intentionality. Mm. So the police is okay, see, when we are there, nothing happened, nobody entered council, now we have left and then look at this apple. So that they will want to also justify their own plan. But now reverse people are going to be vigilant. Why is this happening? Reverse people are going to be vigilant and reverse will be vigilant and we will face it. The governor said in his uh, response to questions that he has done everything possible to bring about peace, including kneeling. Isn't that bending too backward, given his position? And well, um, he's a Christian. <laughs> I'm not, and I think it's the night of the Anglican Communion. Um, the Bible says that this as well depends on you. Let there be peace. And that's what he has, that injunction, that's, that message, that is what he applied. Mm. He also says that when he has slapped here, he turned the other cheek. Mm. I think that's what he has also said. which he says he will never turn the other cheek. That, that, I'm not, I'm not talking about Jesus mm. the place. We are talking about what the government said. Because see, sometimes it's like bringing irrelevant people into conversation. <laughs> This is, as far as I'm concerned, these are relevant people. We, we, for we, people. We, we can stop it. They were, I'm surprised people say it's a Christian. We can say that no politician will go to heaven, by the grace of God, I will go to heaven. It's his own problem. He knows what he believes and he knows what he's doing. You know? Mm. So, leave him. He told Jared, he told Omai that he's not a, a, a Christian. He's not like Omai. When Omai was governor, the Anand Palace, mm. the, the whole Nigeria watched it. He said he cannot be like a man. Yeah, and they, they became the fought and they, now they have common interests. Mm -hmm. But that is by, by the way. And now I am not sure my will be that because he's well brought up. He's mm -hmm. a, a member of the Assemblies of God. So the press, the governor has displayed to reverse to the world that he's a child of God, he's a Christian. And whatever as long as it depends on him, mm -hmm. and that is what he's doing, whatever depends on him to make sure there is peace, he will do it. And he has done it. So Every time, that's why reverse people are pleased with him. That's why people are reverse are supporting him. That's why reverse are, are happy with him because he has not shown any form of arrogance. He has not shown any form of pomposity. He has not shown any any form of disregard for people, institutions, and everything. And I like him. He speaks. He, he speaks the truth. Okay. He speaks truth to power. Okay. All right. Uh, Chito Kehuo, the newly sworn in chairman of Obia Kwa local government area, yes. uh, reacted to. You know, uh, some council secretaries uh, being burned, in, in burned, set ablaze, and all of that. He said that he knows uh, the arsonists. He knows those who are going about burning down secretaries and all of that. But if they dare come near Obiakbo, he will do this and that. But let this words not come from me. I want to take a listen to Chidoke Hewon.
Pode tocar com o Beto, vou poder andar. That was Chinyo Kehu, the newly sworn in uh, chairman of Obia Bond local government area, where he is a weekend. Minnesota FCT also hails from. Uh, turning to Dr. Davis, now he has called for fire for fire in reaction to some assets going about setting council secretaries ablaze. Now, do you think that this fire for fire is what the detractors are actually looking for so that Mr. President can declare this state a state of emergency in the state? Well, that, that's their own thinking, but they, not, they will not be able to achieve that. You know, some other time you have raised this, I've been on this platform and you have raised this issue of um, state of emergency. Mm. State of emergency is not. Um, my mind are kind of business. People don't just you don't just declare state of emergency. It will require the parliamentary approval. And not only that, if the is a my man are business, they have declared state of emergency in Borno State. They have say they have declared state of emergency in Zamfara State. They have declared state of emergency in uh, uh, Kasana State and all those places. It's not a my mind and a kind of thing. And you see it's because of the laziness of thinking that people think that if they just create small um, on uh, unrest mm -hmm. and then a state of emergency will be created. Their target is to grab political power and class political power. They ordinarily assume that if a state of emergency is declared, um, some of them will be appointed to run the affairs of the state. So their interest is not the state. Their interest is the coffers of the state. Mm -hmm. That's where their interest is. And so they, they will not get it. You know. So as for yeah, they're pulling down the structures. They what structures are they pulled down? They have tried to they, they are astonished. What, that's, what that's what they are called. They are criminals. The unfortunate thing is that the police is not is complicit. I, I told you intentional comp mm -hmm. uh, uh, complicit, co complicit intentionality. Mm -hmm. If the police does not have complicit intentionality to track down those who did this, it's not a problem. It's just like some when they are council chairman, some of them we are threatening the government every day and saying all sorts of things, and the police is not doing anything. The same thing. These are sorry, these are criminals, and there are not many. They can be fished out if the security agencies are serious, and that is the thing. But because they are not neutral, like the chairman said, because they are not neutral, they are behaving as if they don't know what to do. If not a simple process of running around, and it don't take them one week to um, round up all those people. Either they are, are paymasters or they, 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 those who perpetrated the actions themselves. If they arrest those ones, they'll be able to, 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 to know. Look at the, the council. Is there any council that they burn that there's no police station near it? There's no council. Mm. So what are the police doing? Are they sleeping? So that's why I'm talking about complicit intentionality, mm. you know? So that is what you're talking about. That's a security technology. Yes, uh, it's a security technology. They know it. So if they, they are serious about it, they can go about it. So they should forget that. As for protecting this state, I told you, rivers will protect this election. And elections are, elections are peaceful. So also rivers will have the capacity, like the chairman has said, I agree with him. They have the capacity to protect rivers' assets. But you see, these people, they should not forget that they have their own personal assets. We are people out of annoyance. They want to go to prison. The well, I didn't know so, but I, I can never understand that. Out of reprisal, they, they have what they call reprisal attacks. And the prison, they don't, they don't occupy uh, any um, state property. Why are they burning state properties? They are criminals. And the police should go after them. That's what the police should do. 
As at this moment, I, 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 would, I, I thought I would have heard right this morning that some persons have been arrested, some people have been wanted. This is that are going to, like the governor said, I agree with him, they are going to declare some people close to him as wanted and I want to arrest them. Tell like what they did to, uh, when some, some of the people went to Abuja to harass them. And that's, that's what the, the police is not neutral. The security agencies are not neutral. If they are neutral, I tell you by this morning what will be written is headlines. So so persons have been declared wanted, so so persons have been arrested. The police is just lazy not doing his work. That is the, the thing. So right. I agree with him that different people will not rest. And they will not, other places they went and they were repelled when they saw people respond. And they repelled. And why are they doing this in, in, in darkness and everything? That's criminal activity. All right. We'll just take a short break. And when we return, I will ask my guest if he suspects that the president is in cahoot with Yeso Wiki. To pull down Governor Fubra. That will be a question immediately after the break. Stay with us. Monkeypox or Mpox is an infectious disease caused by the monkeypox virus. It can cause a painful rash, enlarged lymph nodes, fever, headache, muscle ache, back pain, and low energy. Mpox spread from an infected person to an uninfected person through skin-to-skin -skin contact, kissing, sex, and contact with body fluids, including saliva. Monkeypox can also be transmitted by sharing sharp objects and also from a mother to a child during pregnancies and childbirth. It can also be transmitted by sharing clothes with an infected person. Monkeypox can also be transmitted from an infected animal to humans. Contracting monkeypox during pregnancy can be dangerous to the fetus or unborn infant and can lead to pregnancy loss, stillbirth, death of the newborn, and complications for the mother. Now, common symptoms of mpox are rashes, fever, sore throat, headache, muscle ache, back pain, low energy, and swollen limb. Children, people with low immune system, Men having sex with men and those with multiple sex partners, including close family friends that are infected. Remember, monkeypox has no cure, but is preventable. So if you or any member of your household observes any of the symptoms mentioned above, please go to the nearest hospital. This message is from the River State Minister of Health. with SNB, it's probing. You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it all about? Beckoning on you occupying that public... All right, if you have just joined us, the program is Stewardship with SNB from the Studios of Irish TV in, in Portaco. This program is live on our various social media handles such as YouTube and Facebook at Irish TV Online. We are on GoTV channel 142 and Start Times channel 113. Of course, as usual, we'll display our telephone lines for you to call us and have your say. But please let me advise that if you have to converse with us, do want to turn down the volume of your TV set or move away from your TV when you call us so that we will not have a hold back during the conversation. All right. So my guest has a change, Dr. Sukonte Davis, a former member of the House of Representatives and former Executive Director, Marine and Operations, Nigerian Ports Authority. Is still live with me in the studio. All right, so let me talk to you, Dr. Sukonte Davis. Do you have any suspicion that the presidency might be in cahoots with Yeso Wiki to pull down Governor Fubra? Do you have any suspicion? Well, um, you know, when you talk about the presidency, going on? yeah, when you talk about the presidency, mm. it's not one person, it's an institution. Yeah, it is. Good. And politics being what it is, I won't be surprised that some persons in the presidency might be. In, in cahoot with him and if that is the, the case then they, they don't wish the president well mm -hmm. because as we speak today take any opinion sample you want to take you so they don't wish the president well yes maybe wants to uh, uh, cover to take over real estate in no, no, hold on hold on they don't wish the president well that's what i'm going to say the next thing as we speak today i'm not god i'm not i don't know tomorrow but as we speak today more than 80 to 85 percent of river support are solidly behind the governor 
And when they have such a figure, how where will you pass to take over the United States? It just simply means that the so-called um, 20 percent or 25 percent that they give the the group um, the, that was required is required by the electoral that's act. A, that's a saying that the, those who those who count the, those who vote do not determine the winner. No, no, the, those who count. Yeah, that's what I want to also mm, say. Mm. That the, that purported percentage they give to the president that is making some of them to begin to go mad, they will not even near that percentage to count the United States as one of the states that they met the requirement. But if it is the president, simply it means that he wants to, if he wins in 2027, mm. he wants to remove River State from the column of the states that gave him the necessary requirement to win. But presently, as we speak, Anybody that thinks that you can destabilize River State to be able to get it, the bear is just daydreaming. In fact, it's a nightmare. It's not even only the it's, it's a nightmare. Oh, really? Yes, it's a nightmare. Presently, as it is, to stand against the governor of River State is like standing against a moving train. I'm a member of the LPC. He's a member of PDP. I didn't like him, I didn't vote for him, I didn't support him. Like I I I'm a Christian, I must tell you the truth. The governor has done more than what people expected. Some, some of us expect because we didn't know him. But he has come to show that he really he has capacity, he loves River State, and he's doing things that will help River State. So as it is, as it's going, he continues in this state and does not derail by any mm -hmm. distraction. Which there may be some of them want him to be distracted. Just the way they try to distract and mention his last few years mm -hmm. when he was really running on the on full steam. The same forces. So they, yeah, the same forces. If that's what they want to achieve, they will fail because um, I will say, Tarubo and nobody micro, So you can only fool a man once. Mm. You can't fool him twice. If you fool him twice, mm. then the man is a stupid person. Rivers will not fall for that anymore. So with the presidency, then the, the president should talk to those in the president because he has his advisors. He has his security agencies. Right? He has a coterie of security advisors and security agencies. They should tell him what is the true position. He has the DSS and everybody. He has the NIA. What does he not have to be able to probably be informed? But if it is own game, then we we'll sit down and watch and we'll see what will, will happen. Mm. You know? There are pictures showing on your screen. Uh, is uh, pictures coming from uh, is it Degema local government area where uh, the former council chairman and other supporters of a pro wiki group are marching? Uh, this is not pro wiki group, that's me. Oh, okay, that's me. I'm going, I was going to vote. Oh, all, right. Return from oh all right, okay, okay. Uh, there's a mix up there. I want to say apologize for the mix up. In the I can see myself there. I'm yes, okay. That's on Saturday. Yeah, this was on Saturday. I finished okay. this year, I was Yeah, this is when you finish voting. Yeah. You know, anything uh, in groups and matching, we think that it's <laughs> <It's> a protest. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no, we are not protesting. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I, 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 I okay. finished voting and I was going back. Yeah. I would like to live in this. Yeah, yeah. you actually went out to vote. I did, I went to vote. Yeah, so uh, what would you attribute your party's poor showing at last Saturday's election? Well, it's unfortunate. We didn't win, we didn't win it. No, we won one seat in uh, Mokrika. Councillorship. Councillorship. We won at least as a seat. Okay. <laughs> we, were, <laughs> you know, we Actually, our performance was, was poor because yeah, our yeah. preparation was also poor. Yeah. You, you know that we didn't campaign properly. And research actually, within the law, gave us a window through which you can even, even field mm. candidates. So they didn't have much time to go and do proper campaign. In fact, even the one that we won, for me, is a miracle because I was not expecting much mm. from it. And then we tried our best. Uh, the, the much we could do, we, we did. The important thing is that we voted, we participated in the election, mm. and the election was very credible. It was free. It was fair. Nobody was intimidating anybody. Mm. In my place, it was like a, 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 a carnival. So that's why I see you it was like a carnival. Right. So that's what, that's what happened, right. actually. Okay. So once again, uh, our apologies for the mix-up uh, in the explanation of that video that we played to you uh, moments ago. It was actually my guest who was in company of his supporters and followers. And I was wearing that nice shirt. I yeah, that's a good shirt. Yeah. And we won that day. Okay. That was very good it's okay, you're lucky. <laughs> All right, we'll take the first call on the program. Let's hear from this caller. Good afternoon. Hello? Good afternoon. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Your voice level is too low. Your voice level is too, too low for this conversation. Yeah, I'm calling from Rivers. Okay, Bunabali. All right, your name? 
Michael. Michael, welcome to our program. Well, thank you, sir. Thirdly, I told you last time when your age came and I make a position about what's going on in the river state. I I said let's call the well in OK and the sea and ask two of them. They told us to call them and ask two of them just for better two of them as fighting for what they told us can bring can have position I can speak to them that they will keep you the way it was in order Also amplify his question. Um, is there anything you're a politician and politicians when they are in their inner room, they take a lot of decisions binding on all of them. When they cover the challenge, different thing. In your opinion, do you think there is something that the governor and his predecessor is not telling us? Well, I don't know. I'm not. Either, I'm neither the governor nor his predecessor, and I'm not going to know their minds. But what I do know is that I'm aware that highly respected stakeholders in the mode of former governor of River State, um, Chief Rufus Ada George, in the mode of the former deputy governor of River State, uh, Sir GTG Toby, in the mode of former ambassador of Nigeria, C.D. Urike. These are stakeholders. And elders. And these are elders. And I think the former governor of River State, um, Sir Dr. Peter Odele, have written to the two of them. And I, the information reaching me is that the minister did not respond. And as people say, you cannot shave a man's hair in, in, his, in, his, in his absence. You cannot shave a man's hair. Uh, you can't shave the hair of a man on, from, his hair, mm -hmm. uh, from his head in his absence. So I don't know. I, I agree with the suggestion. It's a very nice one. But he himself will be surprised to hear that this suggestion has already preceded since last year. Since last year, I'm aware of that. <clears throat> so, you see, and the governor has told us, he has told the whole world, the whole world, yes, he repeated it. There's nothing humanly possible he has not done for peace to reign. It means that there's only one party in the so called crisis that is not responding. To, to reasonable intervention. There's only one party that wants things to end, as he said. Is he River State? When, at, if from his age, when River State was created, he was not born. He was born, he was a toddler. Mm. People have governed this state, including Bayesa State. People governed it. And they didn't burn it down. If they burnt it down, would he say anything to govern? And his, his, his people projected him to be what he is today. Now today, he's, he's put as if nobody projected him. He fell from heaven. He's God. <laughs> Even God had to be born through a woman. Jesus Christ mm. had to be born through a woman. He suddenly he um, yes, he suddenly emerged, <laughs> and he don't want to listen to anybody. And they say that that is the hallmark of a man that is heading towards destruction. We don't want to listen to anybody. Apart from your own voice, and there are a group of psycho fans, it's just like I, I, there's one I read, I, I watched somewhere. Dele Farouk Tumbi was saying that the emergence of Tiribu as president had made him to understand the character of some people, and that people used to respect. He did not know that they are not, they are not supposed to be respected. The same for some people in the United States. People I used to personally respect. I look at them dancing naked in the public. Who are they? They are, too, uh, no, they are older, they are, still, they are too old for me. Not the governor, the, the minister. The minister is a, is a younger person to me by age. There are other people that are, that are too old, I don't want to mention. But there are people that I used to respect coming to dance naked, chiefs, traditional rulers. Mm. 
can't tell a boy that they saw them he's old they are old enough to be his father they can't tell him that boy sit down and they are coming to see and you see them on social media they take press conferences and all that stuff and it's a shame but i've mentioned eminent people reverse people and I, I thank god that none of those people dancing around the minister have the same capacity and uh, uh, credibility like these names i have mentioned mm. and this will have called him written to him he doesn't want to come he doesn't want to attend he sends people he sends not even his first 11 he doesn't say his second 11 he sends small children all right when himself is not too, too big to respond let's to them. now let's win now i'm getting signals and my time is almost up but i must ask you this question if you meet mr president one-on-one -on -one, what would you be telling him concerning the river state crisis if i meet mr president one-on-one -on -one, is the same reverse person who tells well, Yes, I was surprised. But the judge was able to uh, speak as he spoke for some time. He lost his voice. I'll tell Mr. President that your appointee is a problem. And your appointee is a problem. It's quite a problem because you have appointed him. If you remove him from where he is today, he cannot, he does not have any capacity. It's because of his position as minister that uh, IG dances to him. The moment he's removed, if you do not want to, if you. If, Look, the, the, what the, the, um, the, uh, the Minister of FCT is doing is negating whatever good intentions the President has for River State. So and even for Nigeria. Day. So one of the things I say that, call him to order. If you do not want to listen to order, sack him. He's not the first person to be sacked. Okay. Don't let him sack. He was calling for the sack of the I say he should be called to order. But so if he's not sack. listening to order, uh, he cannot be bigger than the, um, the President. Unless he's, the President is telling us that whatever the, the man is doing, he has support for it. He should also make that point very clear so that rivers will know where we stand and just will know where we stand because if you go to the social media you go to regular media people are saying the same thing so who is wicked that the president is afraid of what is the agreement between both of them what is the relationship so, what is the underlying factor or the relationship that the president even mentioned in the like that i said that he didn't mention in them because in this matter he has seen as a miscreant mm -hmm. and he should, he should be telling like it's a miscreant right. but if you see him as an important factor why didn't he mention his name if, that's the governor's point okay if the last option to finding a way forward in this river state crisis is to sack the minutes of the fct would you advise mr of, president to sack him? of course the governor is elected the president cannot sack the governor it's even so that will sack him, maybe in 2027, if they are not pleased with him. The governor has a mandate of reverse people. The, the minister has no mandate of anybody, he has the mandate of the president. So the president, is, is, the easiest thing to do is to sack him, call him to order, tell him to stop this nonsense he's doing in the river state, or he, he sacks him. And he thinks the problem will be abated? Immediately, of course, because that's where he stands. That's the fulcrum the, the minister is using to right. cause problem in the river okay. state. Okay, that, that's for Mr. President. Now, what, what message do you have for rivers people? Because rivers people are tired of this. No, they should not be tired. No, they should, rivers people should continue the support they are giving to the governor. The strength the governor is exercising is the power God has given to him as governor and the support of rivers people. And with these two, nobody can unseat him. Nobody can make him, to, to, he cannot put the state in this array. The reverse people, I say, will so, so, come to support the governor. We elected him. We didn't like him, but we elected him as his governor. And he's not acting as somebody that some people didn't vote for. He's acting as governor of River State. And because that is why he is. Majority of people gave him their vote. And he's there and he's doing the same work. So we should continue to support him and don't allow any miscreant or miscreant, group of miscreants to try to destabilize the state because their structures are broken down. All right, Dr. Sokonte Davis, former member of the House of Representatives who represented Degema Body Constituency and former Executive Director of Marine and Operations at the Nigeria Post Authority. Thank you so much for your time with RSTV. Thank you very much for having me here. And that's it on our program. We'll join you again on Thursday. Where we'll bring you another guest on a different topic. My name is Solomon Nelson Braid. Goodbye. Stewardship with SNB. It's probing. You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it?